What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft and welcome to another episode of Destiny. Today I'm continuing my before and after series with the post buff Bad Juju Exotic Pulse Rifle. Bad Juju can only be obtained through an exotic bounty called Tolan's Legacy. The only way to obtain this is to turn in enough bounties until you're randomly offered an exotic bounty. Prior to the buff, this gun suffered from lower magazine size, weaker stability, and an underwhelming exotic perk. On December 1st, 2014, it got a healthy buff and is now an excellent weapon to wield. Here's how a fresh bad juju handles in the wild. Right off the bat, it can be fired in full auto. The fire rate is pretty decent too. The stability is average, but the impact is low at only 7, and the range is only 33. Cosmetically, it's got a distinct space voodoo vibe, with desert bones and leather straps attached to the body and a green glowing muzzle. Like most exotics, the sights are locked, but the barrel can be adjusted. Let's take a look at the perks. Hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Essentially, the bullet spray will be tighter when firing from the hip. While this is nice to have for a short to medium range weapon, I honestly feel like this perk could have been replaced with something like Glass Half Full or Zen Moment, both of which I think would have been much better. String of Curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will also charge your super. This is where this weapon really stands out. Each and every kill will instantly reload the magazine, and I'm talking instantly. It's actually really weird to experience. If you've been playing first person shooters long enough, you've got a built in response to reloading your weapon. Not being able to reload after clearing out an entire room of red health mobs is a weird feeling. Plus, it doesn't deplete reserves. It just magically grabs the ammo out of the air. If you time your shots, you can take out just about any group of trash mobs without reloading once. Also, Hive Night Wolves activate this perk. After the first kill, you'll get a damage bonus of about 9% that will last for a few seconds. It does not stack with additional kills. On top of all this, you get bonus super energy for each kill. According to Captain Kev 91s Reddit post, you can cut super recharge time nearly in half from getting consistent kills with bad juju. This also stacks with inverse shadow found on helmets and the Don't Touch Me Hunter exotic gauntlets. Moving on to the barrels. First we have Smooth Ballistics, gives best impact and range. Then we have Soft Ballistics, best achievable range. And then Smart Drift Control, best stability with best overall recoil pattern. Honestly, Smart Drift Control is the best option here. Pulse Rifles already have a difficult time landing precision kills because each bullet sprays out, so specking for the least amount of recoil is really the best bet here. Which leads me to the second tier of customizations. First you have Armor Piercing Rounds. This will add a bit more impact and allow bullets to overpenetrate targets. Keep in mind, only sniper rifles with this mod can shoot through walls. The problem with this mod is that you have to give up either extra range or stability, both of which are more desirable since this is a low impact short range pulse rifle. Next you have Send It. Increases range and accuracy. This option gives a healthy boost to the range. Problem is, the recoil is a bit high to make this really useful. Your bullets will have more spread the farther they travel, which decreases your actual accuracy of landing those headshots. Which brings me to the third perk, Perfect Balance. This increases the stability of the weapon substantially and really enhances the feel of bad juju. In my personal opinion, running Smart Drift Control with Perfect Balance gives you the best close to medium range performance that you can get with this pulse rifle. The bullets will be overall tighter when shot, which lends to landing criticals at a higher rate. Let's talk some numbers. Fresh Bad Juju Body Shots scored 95 per bullet and Criticals scored 283 per bullet. Maxed Out 331 Bad Juju Body Shots scored 107 per bullet and Criticals scored 321 per bullet. With the String of Curses procced, Body Shots scored 123 per bullet and Criticals scored 369 per bullet. Keep in mind that this is a pulse rifle, so each trigger press causes a spray of three bullets to be released. If you land all three bullets in the critical spot, then you'll do some healthy damage. So how about for PvP? For the perks, impact, and range, I really feel that this is best suited for PvE. It no doubt can work for PvP, and I'm not saying you shouldn't use it for PvP, but if you have the skill to control its recoil for consistent headshots, then you might as well use a hand cannon or a scout rifle, both of which do tons more damage per shot. Plus, String of Curses is really suited for PvE encounters. Instant reloads and bonus super energy work tremendously well for the Abyss section in Crota's End. In PvP, instantly reloading your weapon definitely is nice, but you're not going up against hordes of guardians, so the benefit isn't really that powerful. You will however get more super energy per kill, so you're going to have to balance it between more supers and using bad juju, or less supers and using a weapon that you more prefer for PvP. So, is bad juju worth the trouble of going through the bounty? 
Yes, absolutely. It's a fantastic weapon with perks that can't be found anywhere else. And yes, the bounty is lengthy because you have to clear 26 strikes and score 100 to 200 guarding kills and or assists, but the gun is awesome. In certain cases, it feels like a pseudo auto rifle with endless bullets. You can just hold down the trigger, and as long as you're dropping enemies at the end of the magazine, you don't run out of bullets. In conclusion, knock out that bounty and enjoy some bad juju. I hope you enjoyed this before and after review. If you did, please slap that like button to help me out and become a subscriber if this is the first video you've seen of mine. I've got tons more Destiny content on my channel, and I'm posting regularly. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, peace. Even when I'm down, even when I'm down, you pick me up and put my feet on the ground. When the world's spinning against me A beast creeping out of the deep Killing my sleep like a novel by Peter Benchley 